Hello and welcome to my 8th Java Beginner Programming Tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. Um, so in the last episode I talked to you guys about while loops and a little bit about if statements. Um, and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys more about if statements and then teach you about an if else statement. So let's go ahead and delete this while loop. And um, so, first off, um, I explained the if statement a little bit in the last tutorial, where it's just, like, it tests whether or not something is true. Um, so, and the syntax is if, and then you put your argument inside these parentheses, like, if i equal equal and two equal signs, ten, and then um, system dot out dot. Did I put out tight twice? Print line um, i equals ten. Um, and this is good and all, but what if you also wanted to test not in the same statement if i were not 10. So then you could say else and then more curly braces sys sys tim dot out dot print line and you can put um like i is not 10. And if we run this program then we get i is not 10. And if we change it to 10, then i is 10. Um, so we can also do like um, less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So if it is greater than or equal to 10, then i is like greater than or equal to 10 is not greater than or equal to 10. And then i is greater than or equal to 10. Um, and then something else you can do with an if statement is you can do if i times 2 equal equal 22 then I, then I can do math. Actually, let's do 11 times 2. And then we can put... Okay, let's put I. Um, and then we can put... I can not do math and then and since i is 11 then i can do math um and then the last thing i want to talk to you guys about is the else if and that is basically if so it tests if this is true then instead of putting in another if statement inside this one, which you can do, um, you can put in if, um, so if i times 2 is greater than, um, like 21, then you put something in there. But what happens if you have a program and it needs a bunch of those nested if statements in order to work? And that's what they're called, by the way. Um, what you can do is instead just type else if, and then you can put um, i times 2 is less than 22. And then... Let's make i equals 10. I cannot do math. 
And you can do else if, else if, else if, as many times as you want. And finally, you can end, you can have an if, else if, else if, else if, and then end with an else statement. And then just end with an else statement. Um, so I think I'll end this tutorial here. Um, if there's something you didn't really understand, then post it in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.